Welcome back to the AMS channel. You know it's your boy Alex. And I'm Sylvia. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching another video. You know, if you're a new viewer to this channel, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification on, you dig? Because, <laughs> you know, we got another banger on the way, so. Yep, and also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, you know, because that shows us that you like our videos. Of course, so <laughs> let's get this video to 200 likes, mm -hmm. and we'll get you guys in, we'll do maybe a part two after we explain what today's video is. Mm -hmm. We'll probably do it in part two, but with a little more spice to it, you dig? So, with that being said, you wanna tell them what to, we're doing today? Um, okay, so we saw another YouTuber do this challenge, and we love challenges, so we decided to do it. This video is called the Who's Most Likely To Challenge, and basically, you guys probably already know how it works, but if you don't, how it works is we have um, pieces of paper, Okay, and they have my name and Alex's name on it. And can you see how fancy these pages are? Like <laughs> I did it. Golden handwriting. Oh shoot, I don't know if you guys can see, but this one says Sylvia, and this one says yeah. Alex. So sorry, what you do? Sorry for Lex a little light, but this looks like we just like slapped our names <laughs> on. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is like good enough. So what this, how this video is going to work is. We are going to, oh, we're gonna rotate questions that were given to us by someone, and we are going to see who is most likely to do that, right? Yeah. We are gonna do questions that are a little spicy because we wanna make this entertaining for you guys. So apparently these questions are a little spicy, so we are going to see what was given to us um, by his niece actually. She and couldn't so, be here to ask us a question, so she yeah. just sent it to me through text. Yeah, we're gonna see what questions they have for us, and yeah, apparently they're really juicy questions, so. So, with that let's being see. said, let's get straight to it. Question numero uno is, who's most likely to have plastic surgery? <laughs> okay, ready? Obviously me. So question number two that I have is, who is most likely to do the most embarrassing things while drunk? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alex, for sure. <laughs> Reason number one is because I don't get drunk. <laughs> Reason number two is because I'm a savage. <laughs> yeah. I, and, I feel like... Hold on, wait. Be... Wait, wait, wait. Let me say. And, like I said in previous videos, I'm the type that I don't care about anything. So, and I personally had done some stuff. Actually, when I was 20, when I turned 21, remember? Yeah. Oh, my God. His 21st birthday, we were together, right? I got, and... I got lit. Yeah, he did get really drunk. And guys, you know what happened? Okay, this is a whole separate story time. It's like every question we have a, a story time. But long story short, um, Alex got really lit with his friends. And why he was embarrassing that night is because, first of all, his friends were also drunk. So they couldn't drive. Um, I do not ever drink and drive for whoever's watching, never drink and drive. And luckily nobody did that night. He, they put him in my car and when we got to my house, you guys, he was so drunk that he, when I opened the car door to get him out of the car or, just, or to say I'm, we're home um, and took his seatbelt off, he fell out of the car. And I, oh. Okay, so let's just end the story there. So. He's for sure gonna do the more embarrassing things when he's drunk because I, blacked out. I don't get drunk and like I don't like to be 
on that level. Like it's not classy. I don't like it. So she was so scared, guys. I was scared because you know what? we're on the floor and it's like I can't pick you up. If I still have a picture, I've got my, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna add it. Oh, yeah, I was laying so, on the floor. I don't find a picture though, and I'll probably add it to it. It's a video. scary picture, but yeah. Question number three is Who is most likely to fall asleep during class or at work? What? Oh, that's easy. Ready? One, two, three. Alex. <laughs> and you know it already. <laughs> he knows that I would never do that. <laughs> What you mean? You haven't, you texting me saying, I'm so sleepy in class. Yeah, I'm sleepy, but I will not fall asleep in class. Oh, okay. Question number four. Who is more likely to be late to their own wedding? <laughs> Sylvia. <laughs> me? <laughs> She's just that person. <laughs> she has so much patience, you guys. It's incredible. Like sometimes I, just, I get mad because literally she'll be in the bathroom and it takes her probably like half an hour just to put on lipstick. <laughs> no, it doesn't. She turns on her her like mirror with her little light and she'll be like, and then and then get your finger, and then again. But like, bruh. You guys, I just take my time with a lot of things. So much pain. So, that always irritates him from day one when we met each other. Literally, like I have no patience at all. No ma'am. No ma'am. I know, and it, okay, that's like our biggest argument all, all the time. You guys wanna know the truth about our relationship? The truth is, is our, argue, our biggest argument every single day is come on, you're taking forever, or come on, let's do this, come on, let's do that. And, it's, and I'm over here like, okay, let's do it. But he will rush me with everything. Like, he does not allow me to take my time with anything. Like, he'll, if he wants, if I wanna go, if it's my idea to go out for lunch, um, and I set no time at all, and I'm like, hey, do you want to go for lunch? And he'll be like, yeah, put his shoes on real quick and I'll actually like take my time to get ready or whatever. And it'll make him so mad. I'm like, dude, we didn't even say a time. I'm I like, just bro, said, what are you getting dressed for? I'm like, we're just gonna go pick up food. I'm gonna get off the car. You're gonna stay in the car. No, not for that type of vibe, but like- That we type of vibe out. too. <laughs> okay, whatever. But yeah, all right. we argue about that all the time. Literally all the time, every day. Question I need a back massage after being with him. Oh yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Question number cinco is, who's most likely to quit YouTube first? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> ah, Sylvia, I got to you too. Yeah, is that what you put? Yep. Me? I, why do you think I would quit YouTube first? Because I'm sure my reason is different than what you're thinking. Um, I don't know, because you always say you don't have time, stuff like that. I would say my reason for maybe quitting YouTube before him is because I am going to nursing school and so I can see myself like maybe when I'm in nursing school one day, <laughs> Maybe when I'm in nursing school one day, I'm focusing on all my ex exams and stuff, and so I won't have time to film YouTube videos. But then again, it's like anything is possible. I watch a lot of um, students on YouTube that do like study with me videos and stuff, and they do it. So I feel like I could do it, but if I had to pick between us, I would say me to quit YouTube. Bless first. you, Mama. So that goes back to what I said her time. Obviously, she's a busy woman. So yeah. Question. But I love doing YouTube though. So like in reality, I don't think I would quit. Question number six that we have here is, who is most likely to buy a Lambo, a Lamborghini, and not have enough money to put gas in it or maintain the car? <laughs> Ready? 
Yeah, ready, set, go. <laughs> Who'd you <laughs> put? <Yeah. laughs> me too. <laughs> Why'd you put me? Because I know. almost put you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You be sure, bro. Why? Because knowing her, because this is why, guys. <laughs> so, like, even to this day, her car, every time she'll drive her car all the way until she has, like, 10 miles in her car. And with the Lamborghini, you won't be able to do that. So, I know you'll be calling me every time, like, babe, I ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. I ran out of gas every single time. So. Yeah, but the question was, and not have enough money. To maintain the car or put money. In oh yeah, you too. But still me. You want to be a nurse, so you can't really afford a car like that. Yeah, I'd be the type to be like, oh, I could buy a Lambo, and then you can't like, then you don't think about the maintain, the maintenance. The of maintenance the car. part is expensive. Right? How much is an oil change for a Lambo? Do you guys know? Like twelve hundred dollars. Okay, so rent basically. So you can get an oil change, or you can pay for it. <laughs> So, expensive. that is crazy. You know, a Lambo is my dream car though. Hopefully one day. But That's I guess, dream car? Yeah. I thought you said your dream car was I know, but I pick a Lambo though. Or no. Audi. I pick a Lambo. Okay. But, my dream car. I guess I'm not gonna get a Lambo on a nurse budget. <laughs> okay, that was question number six, right? Yeah. Okay, question number seven is, who is most likely to be filthy rich? Mm. One, two, three, go. What'd you say? Me. Filthy rich off of being a nurse? That's not my, that wouldn't be my only thing. What, what else? So let's see. I want you guys to comment down below who you think will be filthy rich by obviously us giving our goals. So go ahead, give your goal. Me. What will make you filthy rich? Filthy rich, I mean, I don't know, it depends on what your definition of rich is. Because for me, I know that I'm for sure going to make money. I'm gonna have my career. And nurses make really good money. So if I save and um, I do what I have to do. I don't know, I just feel like I would be the one to be rich just because. Well, filthy rich is like, I'm talking about like you're a multi-millionaire, mm -hmm. like maybe billionaire. That's filthy rich. So what will make you filthy rich? I don't really know, but I feel like if it had to be between us, it would be me. I don't think so. But... No? Okay, whatever. I, me personally, you guys know, I love business, and I think what make me filthy rich would be multiple business, owning multiple businesses. So, you know, okay. In order for you to be filthy rich, it's not about just owning one business. You gotta own multiple businesses. You got to have different types of income in order for you to be filthy rich and be set for life. So, that's just a heads up for you guys that don't know. Own multiple businesses, have multiple types of income, and you'll be set for life. So, question number seven is Who is most likely to jump out of a plane first? Like skydiving. Oh. One, two, three. Me. Alex. <laughs> I am terrified of height. Yep, that's me. I just would not. <laughs> like I said, I'm a daredevil guy. So if anybody out there, any fan wants to go skydiving, let me know. Remember when the Ace family got engaged and Austin and Catherine did it by jumping out of the plane? I was like... And Austin was actually afraid of heights too, so... Yeah, and I was like, dude, if that was my engagement, I would like, don't think I'd be able to do it because if he was like, oh, we're going skydiving today, I'd be like... Pause. No, we're not. <laughs> and there would have been no engagement. <laughs> so, like I said, any fans out there want to go skydiving? Let me know. There's ten questions that we've received. So, one the next one eight. is a little. The the next one is funny. Who is mo most likely to get catfished? Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. One, two, three. Hold on. Alex. 
<laughs> Boy, if you don't get <laughs> Alex That's for sure. I would never get cat I never got catfish stuff I've gotten fat I've gotten catfish. You have? Yeah. Dang. Pretty bad. But like what? Like they just thought that like okay, so what you just thought you were talking to that person like for how long though? I wasn't for long. No. That was only for like a couple of days. I think like three or four days. So when I realized So it, you it realized it. It's like, can you FaceTime me? No, I'm in the shower. Can yeah, you FaceTime literally. Me? No, I'm eating. That's how it was every time, so. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't understand how people get catfish for like years. Like that one show. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like, funny too, cause when I got catfish, I would tell her, I'd be like, you're such a catfish. I'd be like, are you a catfish or something? And she would like supposedly get mad and like not talk to me. Or and she'd be like, I'm going to bed. Like, <laughs> be. <laughs> like, Paul, oh, you think I'm dumb? Okay, question number nine is Who's most likely to give their number out first? Like, when so you're like, out and about and you see someone you like? Yes. Or on Instagram or anything? Yeah. Like, if somebody asked you for a number, like, who would be the first one to do that? Me or you? To give it a number. Okay. It could be like a celebrity, like your celebrity crush, anybody. Okay. One. Two, three, go. <laughs> my answer Syria. my answer is nobody because excuse me. <laughs> I'm taken and you're taken. So you're giving your number out to somebody. I said you, homie. Sylvia would be the one to do it. No, I wouldn't. Yes, she would. If Kai Bent, bro, let me tell you guys, she's <laughs> in love with Kai Bentley. I guarantee you, if Kai Bentley be in there talking about, like, what's your number, I'm gonna text you. Do they even know who Kai Bentley is? He's pretty much another YouTuber from Canada, so. I ain't giving any clout, you dig? So, scratch that shit. Bang. But she would be the first one to do it. I feel like. Okay. Don't lie. Don't lie. If Kai Bentley hit message No, you, I wouldn't. Bro, what? She, I have a whole baby now, and I'm freaking with you. I would not give him my number. Okay, but if you were single and, and you were with me, and, and you single. didn't have a baby. I mean, if you were with me but didn't have a baby. Well, I can't even picture that now, but if I was back, yeah. If he asked. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have two more questions that I want Dude, to ask. I thought it was just one more. I know, I want to ask a bonus one. Oh. The last one is going to be the juicy one, but this one's not that juicy, but I still want to know because I think it's funny. Okay. okay. Who would be more likely to forget to pick the baby up from school? So when she's older, who do you think would forget to pick her up? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> one, two, three, go. <laughs> Me? <laughs> no. That's you. my baby. I would not forget her. You. No, you. No, I'm no. always on time. I'm always organized. Nah, the only reason why I say you is because of so much patience that you have. You'd be like, <laughs> no. I'll be, baby, I'll be there. No. Lately, I'll be there in five minutes. I'll be there in five minutes. No. 20, 30 <laughs> minutes pass by. She's not there yet. No, I won't forget my baby. I will never forget my baby. I'll call no. to work. To First of all, time out, time out. I already know it's you too because she had her very first, um, when she was two weeks old, she had her um, two week checkup and it was at like 9 a.m. and I was like, babe, like we have to go to her appointment. Um, are you ready? It was like 8.30. Good thing it's only down the street because <laughs> I was like, we have to go. Okay. Okay. Final question is who is bonus question. Yeah. Who is more likely to send a dirty picture in a group chat on accident? What? <laughs> what? Okay. That was Ready? on there. Ready? Like set, who's more likely to send a dirty picture to someone on accident? Alright, ready? One, two, or three. Alex. Sylvia. No. <laughs> you. Sylvia. You. Sylvia. No. The only reason why is because I'm not in group chats. Or it could be to anybody. No. I'll never do that. 
Well, I wouldn't because I have a mom bod right now, so nobody's trying to see this mom bod. What about before, though? No. Mm -hmm. No, it's still <laughs> you. <laughs> oh All right, God. guys. So we kind of low-key agreed on a lot of them. Yeah, we did. I thought we were gonna disagree a lot, but we kind of agreed a lot. Good. So that well, was it. I mean, this is just a little fun video for you guys. You know, we figured, hey, let's film something kind of, you know, fun and cute, and we just wanted to do this. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Yep, as she said, nice and fun, something, you know. We actually have a time with you guys every once in a while, yeah. so switch it up a little bit. So, with that being said, you guys, you know, thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all we do, all we got, what all we heck? do, <laughs> all we got, all we, no, I'm playing, guys. But, like I said, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you guys share with your aunties, your grannies, your daughters, your mamas, your dogs, whoever. But Everyone. Everybody. We we literally want to just grind this year, 2020. It's the beginning of the year. We just want to keep filming and give you guys what you want. So, when you like videos and when you subscribe, obviously, that's letting us know that you, you know, Love like us. our videos. And if you guys have any video ideas, make sure you guys share with us too. Yeah, DM so. us on Instagram. Our Instagram handles are down in the here. description. And down here. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys in the next, next video. video. Deuces. Bye.